Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on October 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, able to see a lot of plasma filaments in the crusting limb and as well outgoing. But we did have an earth-facing CME, which is not visible on these filters. Looking at the incoming imagery right now, noting just the plasma that is erecting from the sun at the present time. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming and outgoing. We did have some outgoing action the other day, as noted with the last daily due. But no major space weather events to talk about. We remain slightly elevated in solar winds. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on this lower cresting sunspot. It is a very big one. Just from view right now. And as well, we've got two coronal holes that are Earth facing at the present time. And another one developing along the equator of our sun. And that will definitely be increasing the solar winds when they get here, 36 to 48 hours from now. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see this is about the only place that you can see the CME that ripped away along northern parts of the sun. There was no sunspot in the region. It was merely plasma filament eruption. And it is visible here on ISWA space prediction spiral that's an earth directed CME it will be arriving at our planet October 20th you can see there Parker solar probe and as well our planet earth the yellow dot there but no major Space weather events, as I said to talk about, we're hovering at about 380 kilometers per second. The only thing that's really notable here is our north and south polarities as well. The cosmic charge particles. The bunches are sitting at about 32.7 right now. Solar X-ray flux remains just in the B range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Lasco 2 and 3, showing a little bit of that CME off the right side and left side. That was an Earth-directed event, so we will be expecting it 36 to 48 hours from now. Lasco 2 and 3, showing the last of those images. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 22. Amplitude of 22 and a quality of an 8.4 as we are still rocking and rolling across this planet. Let's have a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours. We're going to start out with the largest, which was a 6.1 earthquake, which struck Solo, Vanuatu at a 96 kilometer depth. We're hovering at about 290 earthquakes across the planet. Here's the deepest 498 kilometer depth, Fiji. 4.8 and as well Papua New Guinea seeing a 4.3 296 kilometer depth Tabilo Indonesia 4.7 Hulan City Taiwan 35 kilometer depth 4.8 4.6 here in Japan 73 kilometer depth as well Kamchatka south of Kamchatka Russia seeing a 5.3 and that's a very active region now as we have some pretty dense approaching lows. Alaska, watch for an uptick in seismicity over the next few days. As well, Kaloa, 3.6 earthquake. That's northwestern part of the island. That's the second one in a month. Overlooking the United States along the west coast here. Looking at Coalinga, California. Largest in the region was a 3.4, as well Ferndale, California, with a 3.2. But notable here, these continuing earthquakes through Toya, Texas, 
and the border with Mexico. You got to wonder what's going on there. There has been some past eruptions. We are bound to have another one. Having a look here at Mexico, 4.3 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth, 4.2, La Esperanza, and as well, Nicaragua is seeing a 4.4 at a 35 kilometer depth. South America, 4.0 here in Peru, in Cam Camilaca, 130 kilometer depth, as well, San Antonio de la Cobros, Argentina, 4.5, 213 kilometer depth. Lots of activity through South America. 5.1 here. It's in Chile, and that is by Mount Vesuvius. 4.7 4 as well. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on this region as it's been a long time since one of the largest volcanoes in the world has erupted. Pretty much the last mini ice age. So that is the activity coming out of South America right now. Not much to talk about through the Antarctic plate. Normally we see some action, South Sandwich Islands, but the last 24 hours, semi-quiet. Looking at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS map, last 24 hours. Have a quick look here. The last seven days, increasing activity coming into Alaska, but still pretty quiet compared to usual. Ring of Fire definitely seeing the action this week. A lot of deep earthquakes. All the elevated rings are the deep. It shows the depth of the earthquakes. Large earthquake there in Greece. Action moving into the African plate this week as well. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. Just have a plan. That's what this is all about. Be emergency ready. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Swiss and Najima in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevados de Chile in Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Nevados de Ruiz in Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, La Palma in Spain, Semestampochnoi, United States, Manam, Papua New Guinea has awakened again, Ibu, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, and last but not least, Bagana in Papua New Guinea, which has awakened again five days ago. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. We're also looking at winter storm conditions moving into the northern Rockies and Plains, central United States. And just south of there, you've got fire conditions and drought conditions. Just very strange atmospheric events that we're going through right now. Watch for a tropical system to be moving into the Gulf of California in the long-range forecast. Stay tuned to the Daily Dew for that forecast. But look here, we still got fires going across California. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here in home base, Ontario, Canada, Brantford, Ontario for now. Taking care of mom and business as we've had some pretty above seasonable conditions recently, but over the last two days, it has changed drastically. We were at five degrees Celsius this morning and are watching this five day forecast as we've got a very cold and tightly whipped low pressure system coming out of the Hudson Bay, most likely going to change things across eastern parts of Canada and the United States as it joins forces. Let's have a look here at the next five days. Low pressure system coming out of Colorado. Wednesday to Thursday is going to be bringing all of the snow through central parts of the United States. And here's the low pressure system coming out of Hudson Bay. Watch for them to join forces. Big Nor'easter coming to eastern Canada. Ontario will be the center of the forces joined by these two lows watch for the action to move northeastward towards the atlantic provinces but then watch as an approaching low from the west atlantic moves into the united states we've also got this rain train which i had talked about in last night's video three low pressure systems that are going to be spinning around coastline bc bringing heavy snow amounts and rain and very windy event 
in the long range forecast as you have a tropical system on your doorstep. Yes, that's right, a tropical system coming from Japan. Very interesting days indeed. Warmer temperatures moving into Alberta. No major systems to talk about through the Atlantic, except for the system that it will be coming out of Canada. Watch for that to get bigger and head into Iceland and Greenland. If you want to look at snow totals for the next 10 days, please check out last night's video. Overlooking Europe, watching this encroaching low from the United Kingdom. It's going to race eastward towards another low over Russia. Watch for them to join forces and most likely bring snow instead of rain for a lot of parts of northern Europe. Even as far south as the United Kingdom, higher elevations will see snow. Even through northern parts of Italy. Overlooking Russia, we still have blizzard-like conditions moving through northern parts. But watch for this big system to be heading into Russia in the long-range forecast. Most likely will be following the polar vortex around to Canada. Cold temperatures really starting to invade parts of eastern Russia. Just south of where our new North, new North Pole is. If you haven't seen where it is, check out last night's video yet again. A very important video that needs to be shared Looking at cold temperatures as far south as the Koreas, minus 5. As well, Tibetan Plateau and through inner parts of Mongolia, heavy snow. Overlooking Indonesia, daily evaporation rains throughout the week. No major weather events to talk about. Australia, watch for western parts to be affected by the slow pressure system starting today. But it's going to quickly move out by Wednesday afternoon and brush eastward and then watch for a dry line to spark up through Victoria and a low pressure system to develop through the coastline eastern Australia probably around Sydney also got a pretty intense system here just going to miss parts of New Zealand as you've got a big high pressure ridge locked in over you overlooking Pacific no major weather events coming to Hawaii. But yeah, just viewing here the low pressure system that comes out of Japan this week. Watch for this forecast. Heading straight across the Pacific Ocean. Aleutian Islands by Thursday. And then by Saturday. She'll be on the coastline with BC. Definitely stay tuned to each and every update. We will have another daily dew and forecast coming tomorrow overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains. No major systems until later in the week. Watch Saturday, parts of Argentina and Brazil. Overlooking Africa. No major weather events there either. Except for this approaching low, parts of South Africa. Going to bring lots of rain, parts east of Cape Town. And again, no major weather systems to talk about through the Indian Ocean. No typhoons or hurricanes. Thanks everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out the major systems that are affecting our planet right now. God bless humanity. Thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.